Podcast. Good morning and welcome to another InvestorIdeas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. Today's podcast was sponsored by Kelowna-based Lexaria Bioscience Corporation, trading on the CSC under the symbol LXX and on the OTC as LXRP. Lexaria has developed a new distributive drug delivery platform, Dehydratech. The company's patented technology changes the way active pharmaceutical ingredients, APIs, enter the body orally. It both masks unwanted tastes and eliminates the need for sugar-filled edibles, reduces the time of onset, the effects are felt within 15 to 20 minutes versus 60 to 120 minutes, it avoids first-pass liver metabolism, and increases bioabsorption by 5 to 10 times. The company's Dehydratech trademark technology is patent-protected for multiple APIs, CBD, THC, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, nicotine, and fat-soluble vitamins. Learn more about Lexaria at www.lexariabioscience.com. Today we will be looking at announcements from AFRI Incorporated trading on the TSX as APH and the US OTC as APHQF, MedMen Enterprises Incorporated trading on the CSE as MMEN and the OTCQB as MMNFF, Delta 9 Cannabis Incorporated trading on the TSX Venture as 9, and a Baddest Biocuticals Corporation trading on the CSC as ATT and the OTC as ATTBF. First, looking at AFRI Incorporated, who will release its fourth quarter results for 2018 on August 1st. The financial results are expected to be released at approximately 7 a.m. Eastern Time through CDAR and the AFRIA's website at afria.ca slash investors. A conference call is scheduled for 9 a.m. Eastern Time and will feature a presentation by AFRI executives followed by a question and answer period with analysts. To listen to the call, please dial 888-231-8191 and use the passcode 1886434. A recording of the call will also be available at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time from August 1st through September 1st, 2018. And to access the recording, dial 855-859-2026 and use the passcode 1886434. Next, looking at MedMen Enterprises Incorporated and the Hacienda Company, who announced today that MedMen has completed a strategic investment in the Hacienda Company, which owns Lowell Herb Company, a California-based cannabis brand known for its pack of pre-rolls called Lowell Smokes. Lowell Smokes has established itself as one of the strongest cannabis brand names in California, founded on principles of organic quality, responsible sourcing, and community. Over 250 top dispensaries across the state currently carry the Lowell brand, Its products have been seen on Jimmy Kimball Live and trending on social media, recently posted by Bella Thorne, Chelsea Handler, Usher, Calvin Harris, Snoop Dogg, and Sarah Silverman. Lowell shares a similar vision with MedMen that recognizes cannabis as a consumer product, said Adam Bierman, MedMen CEO and co-founder. As we continue to build and promote the MedMen retail experience, we believe that investing in top cannabis consumer brands like Lowell furthers our efforts to secure a loyal consumer base in this nascent industry while delivering growth and long-term value to our shareholders. Next, looking at Delta 9 Cannabis Incorporated, who announced it's come to terms on a $12 million loan and credit facility with a Tier 1 Canadian Chartered Bank. The name of the bank is not being released at this time, as a non-disclosure agreement is in effect until the signing of a definitive loan agreement. Under the terms agreed by between Delta 9 and the bank, there will be four separate loan segments, each of which is allocated for a different purpose, and each with its own terms. One being a demand operating loan for $2 million to be used to finance day-to-day operations, interest will float at a rate of about 1% per annum above the bank's prime lending rate, which at current time is 3.45 per annum. A demand revolving loan of $4.5 million, which is intended to assist in financing the purchase of Delta 9's current production facility. Interest will initially float at 1% above prime, but the bank will use its best efforts to obtain funds on a fixed rate acceptable to Delta 9 and the bank, which is intended to be between 4.68% per annum for a one-year term and up to 545 per annum for a five-year term. A demand non-revolving loan of $4.5 million to assist in the purchase of lands adjacent to the company's current production facility. Interest will float at a rate of 1% per annum above prime, which fixed rate pricing subject to negotiation up to the rate of drawdown. And for a non-revolving credit facility of $1 million for the purchase or lease of equipment required for the operation of the company's business, and interest will float at a rate of about 1.75% 
percent above prime, which fixed rate pricing to be subject to negotiation up to the date of drawdown. Finally, we look at a Baddest Biaceuticals Corporation, who announced that further to its news release dated June 28th of this year, it has closed its investment with XLab Therapeutic Incorporated. Together, Abadis and X-Labs will be launching a new cannabis laboratory in Belleville, Ontario, to service Ontario's growing cannabis sector. The laboratory will be housed in a 320,000-square-foot building, the Belleville facility, with plans for an initial build-out of 10,000 square feet and future expansion into the remaining 310,000 square feet through organic growth and further joint ventures. The Belleville facility has been deemed suitable for use as a medical cannabis research facility under Health Canada's narcotic control regulations by an independent consultant engaged by X-Labs. X-Labs hopes to receive licensed dealer status under the NCR. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment.